How y'all? Guns was combo season five, episode twenty eight or twenty nine. One of those two. I kind of lost count. But anyway, go ahead, y'all introduce yourself. Hello, it's Denise. Hello, it's Denise. Oh. <laughs> go, girl. We'll yeah, we'll start with Janice. Okay. okay. I'm Janice. Um, I'm from Arizona, originally Nogales. It's a border town. Um, right now, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm working for Arizona State University, and I'm a cheer coach on the side. Um, my hobbies are bodybuilding. Um, I, um, hang out with my friends, with my family, travel, and yeah, that's kind of what I do. Uh, my name is Ariana. I'm from Oklahoma City. Um, I'm a server and I'm working on becoming an influencer. Okay. So that's that's the influencer one's the one I commonly get from, from guests that come on. But they all give me different answers as to why they would be an influencer. So I'm curious mm -hmm. what they would be down that route. Um, I want to eventually model for like clothing brands and then I'm getting my cosmetology license and I want to open a salon and working in the industry, I have access to a lot of clients. Okay. I like that. I feel like, um, I don't know, I always felt like cosmetology, it was like one of those hard things to get into, but yeah, easy. Am I, am yeah, I easy right? Easy school. Is it easy school? Yeah, it doesn't take that long, like college, where it takes like two or four years. It takes like a year. So do like, do like barbers have to go to that or do they go to a separate school? Um, sometimes it's together and sometimes it's separate. It just depends on what school you're going to. Yeah. It's interesting because I couldn't, I'm not cutting anyone's hair like I would not trust myself at all <laughs> you know so the yeah. way they like you know do the phase and stuff like that I think it's I don't know I think it takes skill I'm not gonna lie mm -hmm. you know with uh what do you call it with stylists and stuff like that the different stuff yeah. they do with different hair, like, I that's good too. it takes a lot of patience too For real? why do you say that because like you're just sitting there doing somebody's hair doing somebody's nails like you just have to sit there for a while the nails I can understand like they say, like um, the stuff they use for that, it, like smells bad. Yeah, it does. Right in your face, so you know it's crazy. But I mean, and they, at the end of the day, I mean, they got their shit done, so it's clean. Yeah. It looks, clean, you know. But um, so go ahead, jumping into the topic at hand, right? With this generation we're living in right now, what are, what are y'all uh, thoughts on it? Mm. It's okay. Just, just okay. I don't know. I just feel like everyone's in a weird state of mind right now with everything going on. Like as far as like how they're trying to, um, what do you call it? How they're trying to have social media within their daily lives type of deal or like, what do you mean? Yeah, like everyone's including social media into everything. And I feel like it's making a lot of people negative and they're focusing too much on social media when it's not that serious. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Like their personal life is becoming social media type deal. Mm -hmm see that what about you no yeah i definitely feel that i was like how did he find me but it definitely makes sense with my um i have an account for my like fitness content where i'm also trying to again become like that um influencer just inspire girls and other people to jump on their own but yeah. I see other people sharing like what's going on around the world and I'm like, should I share that part of like my thoughts and or should I keep it just like um you know consistent and like keep posting my my stuff? Um should I give my opinion or it's hard to like like and because now you can just see people's names and um so yeah, today's society is weird. Like, do you want to fit in? Do you want to send out? Like what do you what do you gotta yeah. do, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I definitely feel like there's a lot of people just chasing the same trend, going after the same trends that everybody else is doing. That's mm -hmm. mainly what I see. But what's crazy about it is the people I see that have, that have their own niche, that are doing their own thing and sticking, staying consistent with their own content are the ones that are kind of sticking out from the rest, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like, what's a good way to put it? Like, think about it this way. Like, you have a group of dudes flirting with you you know and they're saying the same stuff over and over and over and over but then you have like the onesies and twosies that i don't know they're just doing something different 
it's that that's how that's kind of how they're sticking out on social media because they're sticking mm-hmm. to their own niche so like you weightlifting i would just keep posting stuff like that i wouldn't even worry about like trends or nothing like that i would just keep sticking to that and then the same thing with you just stick to the cosmetology stuff and influencing for brands and stuff like that i know that's a big trend to itself but i mean mm-hmm. it's still like you can still make make that different from the rest yeah but that's that's the main thing i see is the trends and stuff like that like what do you guys think of, of the trends nowadays I think they're really oversaturated. Like everyone's, like you said, doing the same thing almost. So it's hard to just find a spot where you fit. Right. I, I agree with that. You agree with that? Yeah, definitely finding a spot where you fit. Now I'm agreeing with that just because um, I feel like I was being inconsistent, but now I'm like, okay, I kind of see where I'm trying to get ready with me. And I know that's a trend, but it's just like, kind of the category that I fit into at the moment and like also making it unique. Um, A lot of the fitness girlies that are popping right now are um, a lot of Latina baddies and they're a lot on like the East Coast. So um, some of us over here in Arizona and China kind of pop out too, or just, um, you know, trying to um, mix it up, like add some Mexican in there, some other flavors, but um, yeah, it's been fun. So trying to just kind of make Follow a trend, but make it unique in your own way. And yeah, spice it I up, you. I guess. Yeah, I got you. I think that's cool too. I see Arizona doing their own thing, getting on the rise. I guess I could beat that for sure. Yeah. So, you know, I'm hoping my own state does that too, Colorado, but I think they're too, I think they're too busy with with, uh, with weed, to be honest with you. So we're just, we're just, we're just going to see where that goes, I guess. We'll see. But um, yeah, I, I think that's, I think that's cool though. Yeah, I'm trying to add something different to it. I like that. Definitely. I'm I'm kind of iffy on bodybuilding myself because I'm I did MMA and stuff like that. I was in combat sports. So we didn't do a lot of lifting or like power lifting. So like I've always been scared. Like if I do too much power lifting, I'm gonna fuck my back up. You know? Yeah. I tried I boxing last time. I went to like um what is it called? Title. Title boxing? Yeah. Yeah. I have my so little gloves. <laughs> it was fun. So what what made you stop boxing? Um I don't know. I liked lifting weights. And I could kind of tell they were trying to gear me into that world like competitive wise, but I didn't know. I didn't know about bodybuilding at the time either. Okay. So, so then body- I kind of just found like a gym and the coach was like, You're very consistent in your work ethic. Like if you follow a diet, you could just be a bodybuilder. So yeah. I got you. So bodybuilding just, just stuck out for you type of doing. You're like, I'm going to go for that type do. Uh, And it just ties in with everything. Like, once you get to competitions, it's all about the beauty, too. Like, you're getting your tan, you're getting your nails done, you're getting your lashes done. Um, right now, I look crusty, musty. But, yeah, I can't wait to hit up my girl here. <laughs> Ariana's when I'm, like, ready for all of that. It's cool. I got you. Wait, so you, you're wearing, like, like, or you have your nails done as you're lifting as well? Yeah, just not right now. Um, I like getting them done in Mexico, just more affordable. <laughs> I, say, I, heard it was, I heard it was all cheaper over there, like everything. Yeah, I also, I'm like, I need to find a tech, you know, I need to find a girl who I can go. I feel like it's also therapy. Like, when you're a personal trainer, you're there talking to your person. When you're getting your nails done, you're there talking to your person. Like, right. I need to find my person. Yeah. I think, so I, that's funny. I think that's funny you said like over in Mexico too because everything is cheaper over there. And I know people have gotten like stuff on their body done over there because it's cheaper. Type of, you know, like they got like the, the yeah. face job, or, you know, the chest job or the ass job, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, damn. I was only, know, I only know because I was told type shit, but it's, it, it's crazy. I fuck yeah. with it. But, um, so as far as like relationships and the, the whole dating world goes, like, do y'all feel like, um, do y'all feel like that's going on a downward slope in this generation? Hmm, I feel like it's always been on a downward slope. Always, like since always. since what? I don't know. Like as long as I can remember, and as long as my parents can remember, I just feel like everyone always has their own problems. Right, which I feel like that's given. Like everyone's always gonna have their own like side issues type thing. Mm-hmm. And I agree with you. I think it's on a downward slope too. But I feel like um, 
I feel like the way it was like in the nineties and like the early two thousands was a lot better now than now. In the early two thousands? I would say even in the early two thousands, yeah. Because back then, you know, people still went outside, people still asked each other on dates. You know what I'm saying? They might have had a flip phone and shit, but they wasn't constantly looking at it, you know, or the slide mm -hmm. phone. You know, versus now it's like if someone if they go on a date, like one of them's gonna be on their phone the whole time. Mm, I think it just depends on the person. It might, but at the same time, like that same person's not gonna ask them on a date. Like they'd rather just text or FaceTime or watch a movie and cuddle up and then, you know, not watch the movie. <laughs> so I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like it's definitely on a downward slope, like from the early two thousands. What about you? Mm, roller coaster. Um, a lot of my friends right now are getting like engaged, having babies. So it's kind of nice to witness that. But then partial having babies and then separating or getting married and then divorcing. So. It's so do you, do, you, do you guys see that a lot? Like, do you guys see that a lot? Like on social media and in the real world, like where it's just the mom and her kids and there's no like father present type dude. Yeah, all the time. All the time? I feel like, yeah. So why do you- I feel like on social media, it's for like publicity and stuff like that. Kind of like, uh, like for people to show sympathy type of dude? Mm. No, like couples on social media breaking up and causing a big fight over on social media just to get views and stuff like that. Okay, I see what you're saying. I agree. Um, I definitely see it more on social media because I feel like it's more um it's more put out there. So like you said, like people will put it out more on social media, but in person I haven't really seen that too often. At least not here and where I'm living at, which I don't know. But I feel like that's a that's a it's a big number of single moms out there like why, why do you think that's a big big thing i think people rush into commitment without really understanding what it's like okay you do you agree with that too mm, yeah or like without <laughs> realizing consequences of you know what could happen something goes wrong right yeah right so do you, do you guys feel like people rush into relationships too fast too? Yeah, I feel like. So you said no. She said, or you said yeah. She said no. Uh, no. I'm, okay. I'm just trying to. I'm like reflecting now and just trying to think of like my past experience. So right. it was like we rushed into it. He met my dad within like two weeks. That's basically rushing into it. We went to a whole different country. Yeah, that's to, like, and then, yeah, I don't then, say that. that's what <laughs> yeah, it was just recent went downwards, you know. So, all of this is kind of just connecting and making me reflect. So, so like, y'all had to break it off. Um, yeah, know. you saw, and yeah, what was that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, no, you're good. You're good. It was just, it was a little bit delayed on my part. I saw. But, um, what is, what is that? oh, yeah. So when it comes to like relationships, people rushing, I feel like that's like the big issue. And I feel like because of that, it leads into these toxic, or it's part of what leads into these toxic relationships, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like they're like willing to like really get things moving, but they still don't really know too much about each other like that. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you, if you guys are in a relationship now, but if you are, when's the last time a dude was like, bought you a gift? That's not a holiday. <laughs> not in a minute. <laughs> last Christmas. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> last yeah, yeah, not a holiday. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, what? like, dude, like, I feel like for dudes, this is like the toxic thing about uh, like dudes, right? They want to rush things. Like, if they really feel like they love or like this, like their individual, then um, they would like they'd rush it, but like they don't want to like put in like effort to where they're like you know giving gifts and showing that extra mm -hmm. love and like that. They just kind of 
I feel like they mainly want a babysitter, if that makes sense. I don't know if you got peeped that or not. But they, mean, they might they want to be mothered by their significant other mm-hmm. mother yeah like i've known dudes that literally were in relate like are in relationships or i don't know if they still are but the they literally told their significant other like i want to be pampered like <laughs> i want to be taken care of and all that good stuff you know but i feel like that's too that's that's just too much and it's kind of weird Mm-hmm. You know, like dudes will say like I would like I want to date a female that's like my mother, and I think that's weird as fuck to be honest with you. That's gotta be a mommy issue. That's what I said. It's definitely like a mommy issue type shit. But mm-hmm. nah, I think <laughs> it definitely shouldn't be that way. It's gotta be like a, like an equal. If it's the other way around, some boys want to be like babied. So that's that's weird too. It's like the same thing, you know. So, I feel like there's a difference with it, though. Like, a dude that wants to be pampered versus a dude that wants to be baby here and now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when I say difference, I mean, like, let's say you're cuddling up watching a movie. Maybe he don't want to be the big spoon at that moment. Maybe he wants to be the little spoon. You know what I'm saying? And, like, be cradled and shit like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. believe it or not, like, the dude may seem hard as fuck, but he's doing that with a significant yeah. other. He got, he got his face up in the chest and the neck area and all that stuff. Like he's being a, he's being the baby right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've cut it like that before. I'm not I'm not ashamed of it. But I don't that's not like my go-to, if that makes sense. That's not my go-to. You said what? <laughs> I just repeat shit you say and then I giggle. I have a habit of doing that, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I mean, you're good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit stuff like that, but most dudes are. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I believe relationships should I've be been big spoon. <laughs> not ashamed. Yeah, see. It's nothing bad about it. And I feel like it plays into like relationships, they need to be kind of equal. Do y'all agree with that? Like Yeah. Like, like one need to be given their hundred and the other one need to be given their hundred. It don't matter like what it is. But I will say this though. Let's say the dude is like like dominant. You can't have <laughs> the other person be dominant because that's not gonna work. I feel like y'all gonna butt heads. Mm-hmm. And that's the same thing. Like you can't have two submissive people. You know, what I'm saying? yeah. You, you gotta have that that different balance. You gotta have the dominant and then the submissive. Mm-hmm. But like when y'all with y'all relationships, what were y'all mostly? Were y'all the dominant ones or the excuse me submissive ones? Mm. I feel like I've been the dominant in the last two. Yeah, um, not extent. by choice though. Yeah, to an extent, because yeah, they just helped a lot in other areas where I was definitely like baby. So like, so like going in depth with like, what made you feel like you were the dominant one of your relationships? It's like more mandona, like bossy, like I don't know. <laughs> So they, like, <laughs> I'm also the older sibling, so I feel like that had a lot to do with it. I'm always clean this, do this, or like pick up this, help with this, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I don't feel like you added a please at the end, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're just like, nah, you need to pick that shit up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why I'm like, saying please like every other 10 times I would have. Yeah, I got you. So like you, you were just you felt like that way because you were telling him what to do type. Of, like you had to tell him what he needed to do. Uh, dominant in that sense. Okay. okay. And I guess if we're talking freaky sense too. Oh, okay. That's, that, I mean that that's that's a you know, that's 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 something that happens too. I mean sometimes a dude wants to be submissive during freaky <laughs> shit. Like I don't I can't relate to that because oh, no. oh, okay. Yeah. No, nah, because I'm usually the dominant one, so I can't relate to being submissive and, and freaky shit. I just think that's like damn, like you're just gonna lay there and <laughs> she's gonna control your ass the whole night. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't understand it. But what about what about you, Ariana? What? <laughs> hmm? I'm gonna say, what about you? Like, what made you feel like? Cause you said it was not by choice. 
Yeah. Like, what made you feel like you were the dominant ones in your relationship? Mm, I just felt like I was the one always trying to communicate, trying to fix stuff. I was the one always paying <laughs> things, just stuff like that. Okay. So, like, you were willing to communicate, but the dude was just like, I don't want to, you know? Like mm -hmm. that type of thing. Yeah. I'm going to say communication is, like, the biggest thing in a relationship, and that's something this generation lacks, like a motherfucker. But, so badly, and I don't get why. Because because of technology, because of that. Like, I feel like, I really feel like they would rather just text you their feelings than to tell you their feelings, straight up. I can't stand that. No, nah, yeah, that's just ridiculous. They want to virtually tell you how they feel instead of mm -hmm. realistically tell you how they feel. Like, that shit is ridiculous to me. But would you, were you dominant in the in the freaky sense, too? No, no. I can't <laughs> <do that>. Okay. <laughs> I, said definitely. I can't. I'll laugh or something. Can you say <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that, that, that is, it's like different, but I've heard of it before. That's why mm -hmm. I'm like, it, it kind of baffled me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't take myself serious to do that. No, nah, why is that? I don't know. Like, I feel like I just laugh, like trying to be mean. Like, I don't know. Like, 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 you would, like, like you would slap <laughs> in the face, yeah, but like you just, about it. This is funny. You would pin him on the bed, but you're laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Damn. Um. I'm gonna say like with with all of that though, what what do you think people need to do to fix the problem, the communication problems? Because I know we're we're saying that communication is like the biggest thing that people lack, and that's the biggest thing people need. What do you think they need to work on to, to get that shit right? Mm, understanding their feelings and like what's really bothering them, like what really makes them mad. Okay, and you you would agree with that too. Could you repeat the question? Um, what? <laughs> how do you, what do you, I got distracted. What, sorry. No, you go. What do you think people in this generation need to work on as far as fixing their communication issues? Since it's like a big thing that they need to work on. You know, learning how to be vulnerable, but that's like super tough too. Um, and finding that person you trust. Just like obviously if there's no communication it's just like you might be with the wrong person um so reevaluate like your choices um, and yeah. communication is different for everyone like i feel like it's also bad if we have the same communication style so it's important for me to know your communication style love language whatever they call it nowadays and like vice versa you know so i got you i got you Mine, uh, I mean, since we're talking about love languages and shit, mine is like more like physical touch. I don't know if y'all just like that or not. I like words of like affirmation. Words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. what, what, what did you say? Mm, I was just roasting you. I was like, you didn't have to say it. I feel like you could tell. But, um. What? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> he was like, when well, you go to Mexico, you get your body done. And like, I don't know all this stuff. You just. I don't, little no, that was about that was about like female friends I knew that went to get their body done. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't a, that was about it's me just at like all. Little little science psychology, <laughs> but I don't know because nah, it's hard because I feel like I've been a mixture of all of them. Like I like gift giving, but I like words of affirmation. I like physical touch too. Like the yeah. other day, I heard if there's not, no physical touch in person or no PDA in person. Um, to an extent, too, but like no PD in so, person, then you don't really like each other. So with the, so you said you're you're with PDA in person, like you don't care for that. Uh, with its boundaries and like, I mean nowadays, or I guess I've seen couples where they don't even hold hands anymore. You know, in public. Yeah, that shit's, yeah, that shit's different. Like that's. I don't know that's, if that's preference or religious, but I just feel like well, sometimes people don't do it. So. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I feel like everyone has their own different boundaries with PDA, though. Like some, and I, people, yeah, I'm like, like I love people. holding hands even in the car, like. So then that's physical touch, right? So I don't know. I yeah. feel like a mix. The only reason I didn't like 
Like I, I didn't exactly. mind holding hands, but, but I didn't like doing it for a while, especially if I was like first starting to date that person. Cause like, I didn't like my hands getting sweaty and shit, you know? Yeah. After, I just felt like that shit was like awkward for me. Like, I'm like, damn, like, my hands are kind of sweaty. I'm a little nervous, you know, type shit. But after a while, like it wouldn't happen like that. But I feel like, like I said, I feel like everyone has their own boundaries of PDA. You know what I'm saying? Like some people don't hold hands. Like you said, some people don't hug each other in public or kiss each other type stuff but um i would say like for me like if i'm in public my boundaries like I, i've never thought about that like pda type stuff i'm like if we kiss we kiss if we hug we hug for holding hands cool you know what i'm saying i never thought about like oh my god people are looking I'm like that i was more like well, i don't know kind of family like personally i don't know i think i have done it but i don't think i would make out in front of my grandparents like that <laughs> that's so yeah well that's a whole different story <laughs> like in front of family that's a little different like your family's different but like public like if you just at a park or like you know in, in the middle of the city walking on the sidewalk then i'm like i'm not gonna care but family yeah i'm, like, I'm gonna definitely care <laughs> that, that'd be weird you know i don't want to see like family members see me do all that shit like Nah. Party drunk, yeah. You said what? Drunk? I'm like at a party drunk. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Just in general, no. Oh. I'm gonna say you don't. You don't really strike me as like a big like drinking type person. I know you go to ASU and that's a party school, and all, but like you don't strike me as that. I was, yeah, trying to stray away. I guess. I know yeah. ASU. Yeah. I'm getting like, busy. I feel like I wanted to get life. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say because ASU is like a party, like a big party school. So I feel like it's gonna be hard to like stop partying while you're going to that school type shit. Yeah. Well, now and I have to kind of the people I work with. I can't be partying with my students and stuff and. Then they see me around the office, like, hey, I know you, and I don't know, it just doesn't look right, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah, that would be, yeah, I didn't know if you were that laughing. Was cool. it was a no, it was oh. a hiccup. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I thought you laughed too. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that would be that would be crazy for sure. So, have you ever had, like, as you said, you work in the have you ever had a student flirt with you? Because I know that's a very common thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, nah, because they're a student. <laughs> yeah, my friends too. <laughs> you said um, that, you said they flirt with your friends too? Yeah, I just remember a, a story of a friend. Um, oh. Yeah, they're flirts. Even, it's so weird, but like, even I used to tutor. It would be funny, like they would come and like slap your butt, and it's like, what do they teach you at home? Or Yo. you, yeah, hey, they yo. just go for it. And that's that's crazy. <laughs> they just so walk wild. up to you and slap you on. The yeah, <laughs> writing. That's that's a that's a salt um, right students there. Students with re with recruitment the other day. Um, I was talking to these two, like Hispanic boys, and my team is mostly white, white Caucasian. And yeah, you could just tell they like, wanted to talk to me specifically. I'm just like, okay, I'll go help them. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. But that's crazy. They just go and slap the ass like that. Like they don't even like say like, "Hey, how's your day going?" You know, like where the fuck is the hello at? You know, <laughs> Jeez, that's crazy. And that's the other thing I was going to get into as well is uh, this generation sucks at flirt. Horribly. Yeah. Horribly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you said, yeah, like strong. Like, what? I want to hear your story. What happened? <laughs> Just like people do not know how to talk. I feel like anytime a dude comes up to me, it's their first time talking to a girl. Like, they want me to keep the conversation going, but you came up to me like, what am I supposed to talk to you about? Well, like it's like, what do they come up to you saying exactly? 
Mm, well, like I went dancing a couple of days ago and like this one dude, he came up to me and he was like, hi. And I was like, hi. And he just kind of stared at me for a minute. And he was like, what's your name? And I told him, he was like, oh, okay. And he kind of just stood there awkwardly for a minute. And then he walked away and I was like, okay. And that was that. Yeah, that's I don't know, like that's just so awkward. Why would you do that? It gives off creepy shit vibes. Like, yeah, uh, oh, I got her name now. Like, motherfucker, what? <laughs> yeah, that's, Who knows? that's crazy. But um, yeah, they don't they don't really know how to flirt like that at all. I've seen worse than that, to be honest with you. I've seen like to where a dude would just walk up, look at her, and then like they would make eye contact for a little bit, and then dude would just walk away, like mad weird. Didn't even say like a word at all. Weird. You know? But um, I've also heard, and I, I I vouch for this too. Like I think this is pretty cool too. Is that I've seen females also shoot their shots at dudes, like walk up to them and you know flirt and do all that stuff. And me personally, <laughs> you said that's you. Um yeah, I'm like I'm bold. I don't know. I feel like I also sometimes just know what I want. So I'm like, ooh, that one. We also need we we also need more of that in this generation. I feel like, especially because the dudes <laughs> flirt gaming. That's why I'm now, saying sometimes I'm just more dominant. I feel like I'm more like, if I want it, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna chase it. And I'm gonna get it. You know, I don't know. I fuck with that, and I'm gonna say like me personally, like I fuck with that type of stuff too because I'm gonna I'm gonna speak as a dude like I feel like a lot of times us dudes are so used to walking up to the female to go flirt and go shoot our shot. Okay, but now sometimes you guys want princess treatment. I don't fuck with that either. Sometimes we want a little initiative too. You're saying like we want pr princess treatment? Mm -hmm. What what do you what do you mean by that? A lot of dudes want princess treatment like they just She's going to back me up. They want to be passenger princess. They want to sit there and just get to look pretty. We have to do everything almost. Yeah, I, that's not like the good. last couple of dates, I remember paying a movie ticket. I paid for a football game. I paid. So you paid, and then he just was just he just to show up, dude. Like he just yeah, he and then did. like I'll I'll drive to like see them now that I have a car. I'm just like I also live far, and I don't want anyone to know where I live. So that's kind of by choice, but it's just like fuck. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it would be nice, like hey, here's your Uber, or hey. Like, let me just pick you up at a random stop sign and, or I don't know, like, I'll just walk down the street or something, you know? Around the block, yeah. Yeah, your gas, something. yeah that too. I got you. Here's dollars. Yeah, I got you. And then I still get there and it's like, did you bring food? And I'm like, shit, like, do you want me to make the bed too? What if he was like, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he'd be crazy for that shit. <laughs> Nah, dudes, dudes is weird for that for sure. Um, but I, I see what you're talking about, and I've seen that happen. Um, again, not my vibe at all. Not me. No, could not do that. Now there was a moment in time, like when I was in high school, when I didn't I had my license, but I didn't have a car because you know I wasn't the richest person. And the female would pick me up, but I would like she picked me up, and we'd go. I'd pay for the date type stuff, and I feel like that's a good balance right there. Y'all agree? Yeah, I had yeah. A, a similar date like that where, like, I I drove, but they didn't have their car. And then he was like, all right, now we go on the motorcycle or your car. I was like, ooh, let's go in my car. It was kind of chilly. I didn't want to get on the motorcycle. But yeah, then he, like, like, you pay for the date, stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, like that. I like that good balance, not going to lie. But it was funny because, like, back then, like, I would see, like, you know the the, per the females on a date would not see her the way like how she would drive and stuff. I'm like, damn, I kind of fuck with this. Like, <laughs> oh, it's kind of dope, you know. But I was definitely like, I'm gonna pay oh, no, for it. You said what? It's Ariana's turn to talk. <laughs> I just laugh and about agree. <laughs> You've been laughing the whole time. What? Go ahead, say, say, say something. Now. Mm, what are we talking about? Oh no! You don't know? Like, like, okay, we're gonna get on this. What is y'all's ideal perfect date? Ideal perfect date? Mm -hmm. mm, probably like going to walk somewhere, talking for a little bit, sitting down to eat. Mm, probably like a little activity, and then going home. Okay. 
I like that because that's not too complicated at all. I've heard some complicated shit before. Your turn. I know. Okay, since she went so settle, I'll go settle too. I like that. Yeah. I think yeah, just a nice car ride. Picking food for sure. And kind of already <laughs> having it planned, like not having them asking you what do you want or them already knowing what you want, you know, before. Like, oh, she likes sushi. So we're gonna go get this. Mm. I like shit, like, oh, you thought of me. Or you listened to what I like. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 like a tell sign, like if he really like likes you like that, if he pays attention to what you like. Versus if he doesn't, he probably just wants to fuck and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's very common as well in this fucking generation too, is people don't see relationships as much. They're just more so like, I just want to fuck and then find the next and the next and the next. You know what I'm saying? It's what's called the roster. Y'all heard of that? Yes. What are y'all thoughts on the roster, on the roster shit? I hate them. They're so stupid. I'm gonna tell you straight up, they're stressful as fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, you got one of them? Not now, no. Like <laughs> when, when I talk about me, I'm saying like the past me. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, okay. high school me. You know, I'm only 22 years old, by the way. So yeah, high school. I don't know. You said what? I don't know how you keep up with that. Like, how do you not get caught up and all that stuff? I just there's too much energy into that. It was. It was a lot of effort because. To keep the vibe going, you had to memorize shit about each and every one of them. You know what I'm saying? You had to make sure that none of them were with you when the other one was going to meet you type of stuff. Like, it was just a complicated shit, and I got tired of it, you know? And, you know, there's been people that have gotten caught with that, too. It's crazy. But, um, mm -hmm. no, nah, I'm not a big fan of the roster thing either. And it, it, that's, that's what's being promoted in the day and age now. It's like, oh, dudes are like, you got to build up your roster. And females are like... That's fine. We can do that too. <laughs> so now everybody got a roster. And I guess not everybody. Not everybody, but you know, a good majority of people do. Because I've seen it from both sides. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm with mm -hmm. you. It's stupid. You said it was stupid too. Like it was like. Yeah. I've definitely been there though. So I'm just like, you know. Um, like where yeah, I've had know. my own roster, yeah. Mm -hmm. But for, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, gotta keep my options open. Also, not looking forward to anything serious right now, so it's just like friends vibing. I'm trying to memorize, like, I don't know, more like food ordered, like, oh, what did he order at McDonald's type shit, not like, oh, it's his mom's name you know so it's a little different not more casual than like freaking complicated i got you i got you yeah yeah so did you find like having the roster thing was kind of stressful for you too or like was it just not so bad for you yeah like for my birthday in december i wanted to have a dinner and I was asking my friends, I'm like, should I invite them? I'm like, I'm like, should I invite them all? They're like, girl, you're messy. <laughs> have a team They're like, dinner. Girl, you're messy. Did you? No. But she's gonna have, have she's gonna have a team dinner in this motherfucker, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I was like, I just want I was like, I just want a lot of like gifts and flowers. And they're like, then ask them. My one of my friends was like, have them each individually take you on a date and like get you flowers but don't let them like get caught up you know <laughs> i was like okay what you could have done was made a whole competition out of it you know what i'm saying like who took you on the best day who treated you the best you know out of out of the whole roster yeah and if whoever did the best whoever you thought did the best you would legit like you know go for something more serious with that person and then the rest of them would fuck off you know what i'm saying that would have been cool if you did that <laughs> now she's thinking about it it's funny because my sister wanted to do the what was what was trending on tiktok it was like a slideshow 
I know, but it was like a slideshow of all of your lovers and like. With like the alphabet? I think, oh, the, that one too, but I don't I don't think I have the full alphabet, yeah, so no, I don't think I could do that one. We don't know more TikTok trends. Like <laughs> no, there was one where you would make a slide and, and you would be like, I went on five dates this year, like two worked out, so. Were they, were they exposed? I'm gonna say I've never seen that trend. Were they, were they exposing the dates that they went on? Like, were they exposing the people? Yeah, my sister says to expose people on TikTok until they find themselves, but that's a little risky. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I never I've never seen that trend. You know what trend I fucking saw? It wasn't that long ago. I mean, it was a little bit ago. But it was a motherfucking, uh, what was it? The, the AI fucking challenge. And that shit was weird. Have y'all seen that? It was like the baby? Nah, it was an AI challenge. Like, they would act like a fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are so annoying. Thank you. They're, no. The lies look like that? Sorry, creepy. I called it. They're called dating raps. And like. I don't know, it's just like people talking about their dating lives and they name dropping people. Lord. There's some funny ones. I wish I could find some funny ones. Anyways. Hello, yeah. people. That's crazy. <laughs> so you did do that. Mm, we created the slideshow I never presented. <laughs> Damn. What made you not present it? She said I sounded boring. She was like, ew, boring. Oh. She was like, you need more, yeah. Need more? She she said you need more excitement in your voice or something. Mm -hmm. Damn. In my voice, yeah. Well, voice. I mean, you could have just been like, "Well, it's boring" because they were all boring. <laughs> you know, but that's crazy that they name drop people. Like, can you imagine, like, if that was like your name on that shit, and you're watching <laughs> it, and you're like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like, wow, that's crazy. Wait, I'm if glad. you could, if you could do the AI one. <laughs> <laughs> is it the like ASMR ones? No, those are weird too, but not that one. Oh, no, those it's are the so one, weird. It's the one where they're like flapping their arms and shit, and they're like, thank you for, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> because it's a motherfucking no, hot dog. It's not a glizzy, you know what I'm saying? Like people call it a glizzy. <laughs> it's a fucking hot dog. Y'all call it a glizzy, huh? No, I don't call it a glizzy. I call it a hot dog. You call it a glizzy? Be honest. Wait, what? Call it a dogo. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear what she. Wait, what did you say? I was like, I call it a dogo. A dogo? Oh, okay. Nothing. <laughs> I'm like, it's like a sonora not dog. Because uh, it's like. That's new. No, because, yeah, it is new. But it's, you're kind of delayed on my stuff. So, like, when you say it, it, like, pauses. And then it comes out later. If that makes sense. Chat. Let's see. Yeah, it was, it was a, little, a little delaying. But, um, yeah, it's not a fucking glizzy. I'm going to get that straight. I don't know where it started, where people started calling that shit a glizzy. Yeah, I think New York. Tell me that this. Tell me that doesn't it sound sus as fuck. Like, oh, you're gonna go eat a glizzy tonight? Like, <laughs> like what, motherfucker? That, sound, that sounds sus as fuck to me. I had like, never heard that. Like my version, like what I know is a glizzy is like a you know a strap. You know, really? Glizzy Glock. You know, yeah. Because <laughs> glizzy's like the slang term for a Glock type shit, and that's what mm -hmm. I know as it. But not a fucking hot dog. And not a dick, you know. So, mm -mm. but yeah, they do that shit, and they're like, you know, basically saying thank you for the gifts the whole time. And people are like stupid enough to keep sending gifts and sending them to Sam just so they can say it all over and over and over again. 
and I don't understand why they're giving Sometimes gifts. Sometimes I want to quit my jobs and just do that. I mean, they get paid a lot, but it's like, why are yeah. they gifting it just for her to say it over and over again? You know, mm -hmm. I don't. I, and then they'll like pre they'll like pretend to like card. eat it or something, huh? They're like, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> If they're eating it, I don't know what they're doing. Oh my gosh, they're so scary. It's like scary watching them. It's kind of evil. It's like demonic. I'll get, yeah, I'll get a little, a little hypnotized for like two to five minutes. And I'm like, girl, you need to start swiping. Like, that's that's weird. She <laughs> said I get hypnotized by it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, ew, why, why am I still watching this? We almost sent a gift. She almost got hypnotized into sending a gift. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or when they do like the gems, they're like digging. They're also like digging for gems in the sand, and then they're like mm -hmm. putting it in a baggie. What? I, yeah, I've never seen that one either. This is how I know you guys are on TikTok more than I am. You know what I'm saying? Either that or my algorithm is just completely something fucking different. I've, yeah, before yesterday, I hadn't gone on in a long time, but I've seen some weird shit. <laughs> Where? What's the weirdest shit you've seen on TikTok? I'm just gonna put this out here. TikTok is the most toxic social media app there is out there. But go ahead. Yeah. What, what was the, yeah. Wait, are you thinking like what's the weirdest TikTok you've seen? Yeah, because some make me cry and then those aren't weird though. Cry like like tears, like actually like sadness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? You don't get in your feels? No. With like the movie TikToks, maybe. Right, it's like if I'm, watching, if I'm watching a movie and like a dog dies, then I'll be in my feels for sure. You know? Isn't that kind of fucked up? Like you get more sad if a dog dies than when a, when a person dies on in a movie. Have y'all noticed? Yeah, that? I do. Get attached mm -hmm. to the dog. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of fucked up because like you're a person and a person died, but you're like, cool, like or like whatever. But then the dog dies. You're like, oh fuck, you know? Don't you know? Y'all don't think that's crazy? Um, I don't know. I feel like because it's a dog, like it's an innocent dog. Like, damn, why'd they have to die? But what if it was an innocent person? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Innocent. I handle grief weird, so I don't know. Like, I don't know if y'all have seen uh, the show The Boys or not. Have y'all seen that? The Boys. Yeah. Is it an old show? No, it's new. Then no. No. Anyway, there was one part where like, you know, this couple was just standing on the sidewalk talking. It's like a, like about superheroes and shit. And the dude has super speed and he just ran through the dude's girl and she like exploded in to all kinds of different body parts and shit. Yeah, it was crazy. But it was like she didn't do nothing wrong. But I didn't feel bad. I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they just randomly happened, but if it was a dog, I'd be like, yo, that's fucked. Like, I, I'm not watching this no more, you know? We live in a crazy society. I mean, that's, that's Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. What kind of movies do y'all watch a lot, like genre-wise? Mm, I like documentaries. What, oh, what kind of documentaries? Mm. Better be like, like some alien shit, because that shit's interesting. Oh, no, I like the crime documentaries, like about cases and stuff like that. Mm. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I feel like people that watch, like, the murder mystery shits, like, they're like, hmm, how can I get away with this shit if I need to, you know? It's not even like that, though. It might not be, but, <laughs> like, people... I don't know what happened. People joke about it like that, like, oh, like... They're watching shit like that. Like, they're plotting right now, you know? That's, that's like, the joke of it. But what about you? Same same thing? Uh, uh, no, right now, I, I was watching... I watched, like, three episodes of the Grisa new one on Netflix. It's about, like... Oh, that's a good um, Yeah, she's a Coke queen or whatever. I don't know. Distributor. Coke queen. Mafiosa. Yeah. I feel like I feel like they're making a lot of like drug shows and movies and just adding Latin people. In. I know one of the guys I'm, that I was watching you know, it with was so into it and kind of like 
acting like yeah. she was a cat. And I was like, okay, it's not like that amazing, like the story behind it, you know? But I'm like, it's a cool, it's a cool show that acting is. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, like they're interesting, like especially like narcos and shit like that. But I just don't like yeah. how they're, it's always about like Latin people because I don't know how to feel about that. I'm like, damn, like they really think oh. of like us Mexicans like that or us Colombians or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Like, I just think it's weird. Like they always put like lat, like it's always Latin based type shit. Like we're the, yeah. like we're the drug. Well, that's people. what I was hearing too, though. That it's very similar to some like English version ones, and I guess it's more like Italian and like you know, like different different ones, not not just Mexican. So maybe we're just just haven't seen the right movies or something. Maybe um, not, but like from my knowledge, recent I mean, ones are. I don't say like from my knowledge, like we're the ones like selling and distributing the shit and then the other people are doing it. So, and we're making money off of type stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's my logic. On it. I don't know what people do behind closed doors, but you know, all I know is they sell it. But um, if y'all got Amazon Prime, y'all, y'all gotta check out the boys. That one's pretty good. Check out the what? The boys. Oh, okay. Y'all got Prime, right? Amazon Prime? Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah, you gotta check that shit out. It's gory. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna hold it. Like mm-hmm. people get fucked up. Like you'll you'll see a lot of shit, but it's it's a good show. I don't know how I don't know if you guys are into that type of type of stuff. It'll be fine. You said it'll be fine? I mm-hmm. see you I picture as like a big horror fan. Yeah, I do like scary movies. For real? Like, even the now, like, today ones? I don't really like today's scary movies. They just feel very, like, jump scary-ish. They're not really, like, scary. Right. Things. Like, there's no story to it. Not only that, but they just all look more demonic type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, they're making more demonic scary movies. So that's why I don't watch that shit. Because I'm like, what if that energy comes in my place? You know, like, I'm not, I'm yeah. not about that life. Yeah, you feel me on that, right? <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm alone right now. I have to walk to my car, so I'm not trying to talk about those guys. <laughs> but I like scary okay. movies. I feel like the last one I watched was The Boy. It's about like that little creepy doll that mm-hmm. gets a crush on the girl that's like watching over him. But see, that, but- one wasn't even, that one wasn't even creepy because it was just the dude living in the wall the whole time and he was moving it around. Boy? Well, that shit's creepy. Wait, wait a minute. Huh? I thought he came out of the wall at one point. He did, but he was like he oh, was okay. like living in the wall, and he was fucking with him, like moving around the dog to do different shit. And then he mm-hmm. that's when he like busted out of the wall on some psycho shit. Yeah. That's so creepy, though. Like, I know. Like, what if there's a person? It doesn't. There it doesn't make you want like a big house, or it doesn't make me want a huge house and like be there by myself or what. Well, I mean, in all honesty, I've never oh. been a type of person that's like, I want a big ass mansion, a big house, because I feel like I'm gonna get lost in that bitch for one. Two, mm-hmm. it's probably gonna be haunted. And three, nah, it's it's too much. It's just too much. Mm-hmm. Too much space, you know. I'd rather have Yeah, I would move in my whole family. I'm like at this point. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. But um I was I, I'm I'm happy with a tiny house, man. Like one story, one bedroom, one bathroom, one kitchen. All I need is the kitchen. In the living room, we're straight. We good. You don't want to have kids, like later on in the future. I mean, yeah. I mean, later on, not right now. Later on, yeah. That's when you gotta like, you know, upgrade to a bit, a little bit of a bigger house. But it's never gonna get to a point where it's five fucking stories, you know. Oh yeah. Because like, what do I need all that for? Mm -hmm. That's when I. That's when I'm gonna lose my shit and just turn it into random ass rooms, you know. Like this is the mirror room. This is the game room. This is the motherfucking, I don't know, a random ass pool in there. Like you know, I'm gonna get weird about it. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not with the big houses, at all. You know? That would be so fun. What would? I don't know. All the rooms. Yeah, I'm like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you could have a big house and you could get all those rooms. How you? How about you do that? <laughs> yeah. I'll invite you guys to the welcome eat party. Word. What if it's haunted though? If it's haunted, like you gotta bless that shit first. Mm-hmm. Get some sage. Yeah. Some agua bendita. 
<laughs> Damn. Yeah. No big houses for me. But um, besides horror movies, what else? Like action, comedy, like what else? Rom coms. Rom com. Rom coms are the perfect date movies. Would y'all agree? I don't know. Some dudes don't like watching those. They throw such a fit about it. I tolerate some of them. If it's like too much of the romance, then the comedy, then I'm kind of like, dude, this is kind of corny. But like, I need that perfect balance. I need that romance mm -hmm. and the comedy shit. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I say it's a perfect date movie is because <laughs> there's been a point where like I've been in like like the my ex and you know, other was like pissed at me or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I got an idea. When I took, we went to go to the movie theater and watch the rom com. After that, she forgot what she was pissed at me about. It worked out. Exactly. Is that like a is that like a typical thing, or did I just get lucky with that one? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that make me happy if I was pissed off. Would that make you happy if you were pissed off? Yeah. I feel like people would be scared to piss you off because you might like choke slam them or some shit. <laughs> you know, body or bodybuilding and shit. Like you could probably pick up like two dudes by the neck, clash their heads, and shit. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I'm like, don't take me home. <laughs> right. Do do dudes actually get intimidated by you being a bodybuilder? Because I feel like that's the thing. No, I feel like for I don't know why for some not that it's a turn off. But the other day, my friend's like, ew, that's so corny, bitch, because I forgot what I was doing. And a guy said, I bodybuilding. I was like, yeah, and I flex. And he was like, ew, bitch, that's so corny. You know, I don't know. It's weird. And then um, I've heard, like, like probably, oh, it's fun if you lift weights. Like, yeah. You're probably what, bitch? Yeah. I said you're proud of that. So, like, it's not corny to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And me personally, like I've I've never seen anything wrong with it either. Like I'm like, if she's fit, like that's that's a, a different adventure that a lot of people would want to go down, you know. But at the same time, some people might get like intimidated because they're like, damn, she got more muscle than me or whatever the fuck, you know. She's gotta do the heavy lifting. I I can't do that. Now I gotta be submissive, like you know that in that mindset. Is yeah, it no? I'm like no. <laughs> I don't know. I might be some dudes. That's not me, but it might be some dudes. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, but if I, I'm carrying like ten grocery bags in and you're carrying three, <laughs> there's a problem. Like, yeah, like if y'all just moving the place, you're carrying most of the shit. He just has the broom and the dustpan in his hand. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little crazy. But mm -hmm. no, I, I definitely do fuck with that though. Like, definitely continue bodybuilding and stuff like that. I'll try. It's so expensive. It's an expensive sport. Is it? Like, like, like you gotta pay weekly like type the coaching shit. Monthly, but it's like the coaching is nowhere lower than three hundred a month, and then once the show comes, easily in one week you'll spend like a thousand to two thousand dollars. And it'll be like your suit, your makeup, your tan, your nails. And also I was always like more on the like affordable side. So again, I would like try to go to Mexico, get my nails done cheaper. They still look cute. But it was yeah. like or like the cheaper heels on Amazon instead of ordering from all of these beautiful, like smaller companies that one day I'll be able to afford or one one day they'll be able to sponsor me. But right now it's like I'll do what I can with what I got. And it's so fun. So, I got yeah. you. Yeah, that, I mean that's the thing. As long as you're enjoying it and you're you're making it work for you, you know that's that's what ultimately matters. You know. Yeah. Like I remember my, putting my ten on like payment plans and um, <laughs> my bikini too. The bikini, I asked the guy, I was like, "Can I pay you half today and half in like two weeks?" He was like, "Yeah, sure." So, yeah, yeah. So the ones that are willing to work with you about it, like they even cooler. I fuck with that. Yeah. I think the most I paid for any membership was for my um, old MMA gym, and it was like a hundred dollars a month. So three hundred dollars is crazy. Three hundred dollars a month is wild, you know. But as long as as long as like you you're doing what you want to do and it makes you happy, like that's that's all that matters. Yeah. Thanks. I was like investing in my body, investing in a healthier life. So. 
no, it's just a lifestyle. My body will react different, yeah, to like all these greasy foods and shits. So you can't eat like a lot of comida mexicana anymore, huh? I still do, <laughs> um, but it's all balanced. So instead of eating ten tacos, I'll like five. So okay, so you'll just like divide yes. it in half. <laughs> yeah. I'll I still you. eat some, but I'll have a little bit. Yeah. You would hate me because I have a metabolism, so I would eat all of that shit and it wouldn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But it pissed me <laughs> off because like I've always been like a lighter, like on the lighter side. I've always kind of wanted to gain weight type shit, but yeah, no, that food did not go anywhere type shit. <laughs> but a lot of people hated me because of that because I had that metabolism, but it's not always cracked out to me in my opinion. I, I support it though. I like the healthy lifestyle I like that, you know, and I like that this generation is kind of going towards more, more so the healthy type stuff. That's like one of the good things I like about this generation is the healthy shit. You know, it's not so much like they're just trying to eat like shit, you know, <laughs> eat a bag of Takis and do whatever, you know. Last night I was craving, my roommate had the like super hot Cheetos, the black bag. Mm, those are good. I know, but it was like three in the morning. I couldn't sleep last night. I'm like, there's no way I'm craving these at three in the fucking morning. So I didn't, because I knew my stomach was gonna hurt in the at like seven for work. Right, and you'd probably have the have the runs, you know, yeah. in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> yeah, the shits. But um, yeah. but this about wraps up the hour mark of the podcast but before we end it off i do have a q a the ones that mainly watch the part not so much i mean the ones that listen do ask the questions too but the ones that mainly watch ask all the questions so some of them might be bold i apologize in advance but they ask what they want to ask that's out of my control but um at the same time just try to try to answer as best you can that's what i ask you know what i'm saying um y'all ready for the first one Sure. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's so That's silly. Right. Yeah, this is like this is like some AI shit. Ready? Let's do this, girl. Yeah. Some AI okay, shit. Let, let's send me some gifts. Wait, what? What was the first one? They're like, they're like that. <laughs> Yeah, like that, right? And then the other one was the kissy face. Kissy and the thinking one. Yeah. Wait, my fingers are crooked. Look at your pinky when you do that, cause it's all like. <laughs> my pinky's fine. That's funny. She's my pinky's fine. <laughs> oh no, the way my... I drive. Like, my steering wheel sits here. Wait, what the fuck? And your phone. When you I don't take... know how to make it make sense. When you take selfies, they say your like your phone is on your pinky. It'll like go lower. Yeah. What was the last one? Oh, it was, it like was the, the yeah. That one. And then it says, out of those the three, ones. out of the three, which one do you use the most? So, which one of those three do y'all use the most? You feel it? I feel like lately I'm more of the kissy face, but I used to go like this a lot, like act like a shy girl, but not really. I don't. Yeah, you don't strike me as a shy girl. I think that's just playing the cards. So you're like, yeah, I'm shy. Sure, you know. I'm gonna let them think that. Am I right? I think it's, <laughs> it's like if you're comfortable. You guys made this first podcast like really chill. So it's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You said the kissy one often. So that means you, like what, what's the kissy one used for for you? Oh, I think it's just my face on like my private on Snapchat. Like I'll just throw the kissy face a lot or like. The duck face, whatever, on like my fitness posts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And what about you? Which one do you use the most? The kissing face. Kissing. Face. Mm-hmm. So that one's the most popular. I just send it to my friends. Huh? I send it to my friends. Okay. Like, I got you. I got you. I don't. I love my friends. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be I don't use any of these three. <laughs> I think really I mean, not even one that's like that. I'm about to say maybe the this one the most, but even then, like I don't really use that one a lot unless I'm just confused. I, yeah, I feel like guys do this a lot. Like, 
Yeah. Well, if someone sends me some crazy shit, I'm like, what do you mean? And I'll put that and then that's that. So, but that's very, that's not as often. So, and then here's the. Good morning. Okay, go. You said what? (laughs) I don't know. I was just like, now thinking of like texting, I do use the the kissy one too, just like saying good morning and like good night and have a good day. (laughs) Yeah. I gotta okay, hold on, I gotta ask that. Do you think it's weird when guys do that? When they when they're like, Good night, good morning. Y'all no. So where did like that it, come from? Like where did that come from? Where it's like, ah, that's weird when, when dudes do that. I don't think it's weird. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I get upset if they don't do that and like we're like talking. For real? Yeah, like cause why don't you wanna tell me good night? I feel like so I feel like cause a lot of dudes will do that and then the female was like kinda be a little distant towards them. So they're like, ah, I was too simpy. Mm. If that mm. makes sense. So is that like too simpy or is that like not like you, you guys need to do that more? I don't know, like everyone's different. Some people don't like that stuff, but Mm-hmm. Damn, don't say it for like three days make her mad and then say it again and then she'll be like okay he still likes me <laughs> only say it. play only toxic say it. so only mm-hmm. say it when she's upset got it that's funny <laughs> what hairstyles of men catches your eye the most that's actually a good question because i've seen Ooh. a bunch of different hairstyles and i don't know that's a good that's a good opinion for you what do y'all think I like curly hair. I used to have curly hair. You know. What about you? Was it like your actual curly hair or was it perm? No, it was real curly. Like okay. I had a fro. Oh, okay, I got yeah. that I got that Mexican thick hair, you feel me? Like that shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what about you? I don't know. I like like soft, like pushback hair or like curly too. Like, like slick backs? Yeah, like I don't know. Yeah, with, <laughs> like, with, the hair, with, with the hairnet going over. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> <Like that. laughs> Why you laugh at that? <laughs> Not nah, for why'd you laugh at that? Like some people still do that. <laughs> no, I know. I, I know. Think, yeah, still do that. No, because like as soon as I said that, she started laughing. Like she knew exactly who I was. Like what people I was talking about. No, who oh, me? I don't know. Her. It was just the, like when I the, first saw it, it caught me off guard because I was like, "Why, like, take it off?" <laughs> I wanted to like touch the actual hair. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, me. you know, do you know why? Like, you know why they wear the hairnet? Why? So when they slick it back, they put the hairnet there so that it could stay. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like how for for <laughs> some people. For some people, it's the do rag that like, keeps their hair in place. The hair net keeps their hair slicked back and in place. Yeah, my grandpa used to used to rock that shit. You know what I'm saying? He was kind of a yeah. That's right. I rocked my little braids. I was like, yeah. He, he he was a he was a OG cholito though. You know what I'm saying? Um, here, wait, wait, wait. Here, yeah. Here's the next one right here. I feel like whoever asked this has a dad bod. Y'all go ahead and answer that. <laughs> um, I'm like in the middle. I don't know. Hot dad bod. <laughs> That's I mean, so crazy. Sure, can someone send me a shirt that says, I love hot dads? I need that shit. Okay. I'm I trying to make my friend make it. I'm not, I'm not going to knock anyone who has a dad bod because, you know, to each their own. But what about <laughs> dad bods is attractive to females? I don't know. It's just comfortable to lay down with. <laughs> like they're cuddly. I don't know. So you <laughs> they are cuddly. So you wouldn't want another like fit dude, like because you're fit yourself. You wouldn't want another fit dude, like another bodybuilder. Um, I don't know. Your body is so fragile when you're bodybuilding. Like, I think one of the rules when you're deeply into the sport, you can't have sex. A lot of people go celibate. For the sport because your body is so fragile i remember i remember going all the way to like 
almost 100 pounds and I was lifting almost 180 pounds and up. Like I was a tiny girl, but I was lifting so much weight that at any point my body could probably just collapse, you know? So it's just like weird. That's terrible. They have to stop like, you know, to stop having sex like that's terrible. to each their own to each their own but yeah right like, um, i feel no like forever, i feel like it takes a lot of willpower like if you're like active like that and to just stop your body's just tired too yeah like you're sore all the time you're freaking tired yeah. sleepy grumpy right like, yeah. <laughs> so i'm thinking like as a dude like if they stop like if they're constantly <laughs> active with it you okay I just have the hiccups. Okay. She's so like, cute. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't laughing at her. I was just asking if she's okay. I thought, no, no, I thought she was sneezing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so like I'm thinking like as a dude, like if you're bodybuilding and, and you gotta stop having sex when you're just active doing that stuff, like your your huevos might feel heavy as fuck, but they got them. Your huevos. <laughs> Nah, I can't. I couldn't, man. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know what that would feel like. Oh, uh, and then this but, is the. You said what? I don't know. I feel like I didn't answer fit bots. Like they're not bad. It's just like don't be too overly cocky about it. Like don't. Yeah, there's dickheads. We're like, huh? Yeah, don't be. How much do you bench? About it. Yeah, I I got asked that. Like, how much do you bench? I'm like, I don't bench. <laughs> I fight though. <laughs> but. Well. You... That's a fucking Bible paragraph. Hold on. How do you naturally cover your eyes if someone tells you to? If you naturally use both hands, that means you're genuine and sweet. If you use one hand, that means you're charismatic and have a tough personality. Is that legit shit or does someone just make that up? Who knows? Like, if you... Na what are they saying? Like, if someone told you, like, hey, cover your eyes, and if you d did it... A certain way, you said you use... Like, so if you go like that or if you go like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I'm guessing, what would y'all naturally? This one feels more like aggressive to me. This one feels more sweet or like timid. Yeah, this was like the size of my eyes. I don't know. So that is legit, like a legit thing. <laughs> I, I, what does that? What does that mean, though? I feel like, I feel like it's when people ask you when else done to like if you show them like this or if you show them like this. And like guys usually mm -hmm. do this, I think, and girls usually go like this or the opposite. Yeah, so I, I feel like it's that kind of I question. Like, yeah, I go like this if I'm looking at my stuff, but um, I didn't know that was a thing. I thought like someone was just like this. I thought was just like some made up shit, but but since you said like the one, the one hand feels more aggressive, like what what makes it aggressive? Mm, like, don't talk to me. <laughs> this is more like. I don't know. Like I'm scared. I I don't know. I'm hiding. Okay. So both of you are naturally both hands from that question. Okay. So then yeah, it says what sweet and care. Wait, wait, wait. What? Genuine and sweet. I'm genuine and sweet. Okay. Yeah. I I mean I do get that vibe from both of you though too. Like genuine and sweet, but like if they piss you off, then it's like we they, try. Just, they brought out <laughs> they brought out a whole different person. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like if, if someone pisses you off, you're like different? Like, you feel different? Yeah. <laughs> I get mad. Huh? I said I get mad. Like to the extreme, like where you're throwing shit, or like, like. No, because if someone's making me that mad, I just need to walk away. But like, I get mad. Right. Okay. I was say like I don't think anyone's trying to get in the head, hit in the head with a junk like, you know, that's a trick. I would feel so bad. Would you though? Like if they pissed you off that bad and you threw it, like you're like yeah, I got his ass in the fucking head. Like would you really feel that bad? <laughs> Be honest. I don't know. It depends on how he reacted to it. Um, what if he like cussed you out afterwards? Yeah, fuck that. I'm leaving. <laughs> I fuck with her. She funny as fuck. <laughs> What about what about you? Would you would you would you throw a chunkla at your at your significant other? Oh um, yeah, I would. She said that proudly, like hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. You would, would. You, would you would you feel bad like if if it hit him in the back of the head or some shit? If it was a heel, yeah. 
Yeah. If it was just like a shoe or a chancla, no. First off, if you're throwing a heel, like I think you're trying to kill the motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like knock him out. <laughs> especially the pointy thing hits him like in the back. Like I think he's dead after that. Like real shit. <laughs> like you like at that point you just murdered the you just murdered our homie right there. Yeah. Watch the crime shows to see how to get away with it. Yeah, and, and, and Ariano if he's gonna watch it. I'll help you out. You see what I'm saying? I know she's gonna help me hide the body. That <laughs> just confirmed that just confirmed it. The plotting. Y'all are plotting when you watch that shit. Crazy. That confirmed it. Girls. <laughs> confirmed it. But anyway, that, that wraps up this podcast episode. I do greatly appreciate you guys coming on. This this was a vibe for sure. I fuck with it. What what was y'all overall like thoughts of the whole virtual podcast thing. It was nice. It wasn't awkward or anything. No. Yeah, it was cool. I like that you can tell we're all like super freaking different, different backgrounds and stuff, but it was still a vibe. And yeah. What do, you, cool. what, do you, what do you mean like different backgrounds? Like different, like from different areas or like, like what do you yeah, mean? like I feel, I think we're all Hispanic, maybe. maybe. But then we're all like, like, so yeah, from different areas, and it's just like, <laughs> like, right? Well, I don't want to offend think, anyone because some people, I don't want to say we're all Mexican, and then some people, you're not Mexican, you know? So it's like, we're Hispanic. I'm what's, <laughs> I'm what's, I'm what's known as an alien. No, I'm just playing. Nah, you mm. get it? Because, like, she got it. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm, I'm legal, I promise. But I'm, I'm a. No, no. So it's weird because there's a difference, right? Like th there's people that are like, yeah, I'm Mexican, but they're U.S. born. And then there's people that are like, no, I'm Chicano. Like I know I'm Mexican-American. And then there's legit paisas who are Mexican. So like, what do y'all consider yourselves? I'm Chicana. Chicano, okay. And um, see, I see it like, unfortunately, Chicana. I wish I was Mexican. Like I wish I was kind of born over there, came over here, but yeah, I was just born in the States, and my parents are Mexican. My grandparents are Mexican. I got you. We visit our family. Yeah, I live in a border town, learned it fully. Like, yeah. So it's dope. Yeah. I'm a fourth gen, so I'm, like, definitely Chicano. Like, my grandpa, like, my grandparents were Chicano. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still bilingual. You know, I, I still speak my ghetto-ass Spanish, you know. And I say ghetto because if I go to Mexico and speak the Spanish that I know, they're like, nah, this dude ain't from here. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's that much different. Like, I can have the accent, but just the words I use. Like, I don't think they say, I don't think they say vato over there. I don't even think they say que onda. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think they say shit like that. But they do say way. So, I like, way a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mom is way. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I'm a four gen. What, what gen are y'all? Second or non first. First. Oh yeah. shit. So you're the first generation Chicano of your family. I fuck with it. Okay. And then you're first gen That's too? Yeah. Damn, I feel so outside of the loop. <laughs> I'm a fourth gen. That shit is wild. Damn. Y'all are more Mexican than I am. Y'all I'm Peruvian. Huh? I'm Peruvian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I didn't say we're all Mexican or anything. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm you just so say we're from Peru. Cause I, no, because you said Chicana. And usually, like, if you're Chicano, Chicana, that's like Mexican American. Well, like, I was born in the States, so I just. Okay, I, yeah, I see what you mean. So that's that's the other thing I, I'm confused too about. Like, does that apply? Like, does Chicano, Chicana apply to like all Latin, Latin nationalities if they're born in the States type of deal? Like, I don't really know. I feel like yeah, I don't know. I mm -hmm. thought it was like a like a Mexican American type thing, like that, like a slang name for for us because the biases didn't fuck with us too much. Mm, well, where I live, like it's a bunch of Hispanic or like Mexicans, so I just like. You, yeah. Okay. I see. I see what you mean. I see. What you mean. So you're you're the, like the only like peruana in your whole area type deal. Yeah. Okay. We have Salvadorans too, but that's it. You know what I get called a lot? Puerto Rican. Hmm. 
I can see that. All right. Well, that about wraps up. <laughs> we keep trying to wrap up and then we don't shut the fuck up. Look, guys, we can extend it 10 more minutes. I don't mind. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> nah, like, my thing is, is, like, I've always been called, like, Puerto Rican, Salvadoran, like, anything other than fucking Mexican. Like, there's only certain people that are like, yeah, I can see Mexicans, but it's mainly been Puerto Rican for some reason. The accent. Know. Or, mm. Wait, mm. I have an accent? Wait, <laughs> what the fuck? I do? I don't hear it. What do I sound like? What do I sound like I'm from? State wise. Mm-hmm. Texas. I've been here too long. Um, yeah, I've been in Texas. It's only been two years. <laughs> it's only been two years. Damn. It sticks. Yeah. Huh? It does stick. I don't like it. I need to get rid of that shit. I'm not a Texan, bro. I just live here. That's crazy. Cause y'all don't have accents to me. Really? N- nah. Like it sound like normal, you know what I mean? Like I like, well, you, Ariane, you kind of have one. I remember I pointed that out. I was like, you kind of have an accent. You kind of do. Like a southern accent or what? No, you have that. Oh. You have that Chicana accent. Like, oh. like you'd be like saying "Hola, le pues" on a daily. <laughs> Can I hang up the phone? Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> you know that type of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're talking about. Sometimes that accent comes out of me. They'll be like Cholita and like, like sorry. Yeah. But yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, like <laughs> Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. That shit used to annoy the fuck out of me. <laughs> Cause I'm like, stop talking like that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. My bad. No, 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 no. I I'm love it because saying- I have to try to change it to sound like. A white girl coming to ASU, and then someone pointed it out one day. They're like, "Dude, you sound like you have an accent," and I'm like, "I do." Like, you know, I'm like, "Fuck yeah, you do!" Like, do. you fucking have it. Yeah, I'm like, "You have an accent, what the?" Like, nah. Adiana, let me clarify. It's not annoying, but it like when you hear it on a daily and a daily and a daily, and like, you're just around it because I grew up around it. You're kind of like, bro, like mm-hmm. I need to hear something different. Like, I don't drag my words out all the time. Not all the time. No, no, no. But the where I grew up, like they did that shit with every ending of a sentence. Mm, yeah. Like they had extra exclamation parks, marks and fucking extra letters and shit. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. What are you doing with like five fucking ends? You know, it's crazy. But I never talk like that though. I, I use my like my Spanish slang, but I never drag the word. I, I don't think that's a guy thing. I don't think I've ever really heard that. No. I don't know. Janice gave me a look. You've, seen, you've, you've heard guys huh? drag their words. You've heard guys drag the words like that. Yeah. Oh. It's Phoenix though. It's oh. like it's like the valley. I feel like. I don't know. <laughs> it's beyond me. I I don't know. I don't do that. I don't. I don't do that at all. But um, I need to get rid of this Texas accent for sure because I'm not with it. I'm not with it at all. Mm-mm. But I'm glad y'all didn't think I was Puerto Rican. That made my that made my night. That wasn't y'all first thought at, at first, was it? Like if it was, I might be butthurt. I mean, you got the Mexico flag in your background, right? Which helps. <laughs> which helps a lot. <laughs> But like, if I didn't have the flag, you know, like, would it be? What would it have been? I think Puerto oh, Rican. Yeah, you get my dead vibes. We see I you, Yandel. I give you what vibes, Daddy Yankee? You said Yandel. Yandel. Yeah. Oh, you know who they are. That's dope. Not a lot of people know like old school reggaetoneros and shit like this. Yeah. I get that I'm, I've gotten that I'm Brazilian and then I've gotten that I'm Vietnamese. When I get my nails done, they're like, do you, are you Vietnamese? I'm like Mexican, bro. But, I don't see, I don't see China at all. Like no type of Asian at all. No. no. I think Ariana has smaller eyes than me. 
Maybe if you like, if you like smoke some mota, it might get there. But yeah, I was like, I I might have smoked beforehand. So <laughs> I mean, you could have smoked on the shit. I was doing it. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was like going off to the corner and hitting my little vape. Damn. Oh, she does it too. Damn. Like, why am I just <laughs> finding this out at the end of the damn podcast? So, like, this shit is I could have been hitting my shit. You have <laughs> a next <extra> for question? <laughs> yeah. Why am I finding this out at the end of my podcast? <laughs> damn. That is wild. I feel like I need a, a, blah, 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 blah. I need a little it's break. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just like hitting like my, <laughs> I'm hitting my pen all the time. I just need to like Okay, now I see VME. See, chill, I told you. Take like a month off. Come back. I, yeah. I see I see Chena now. You see, I told you she just needs to hit the shit a little bit and then it'll it'll come. Now I see why it. <laughs> uh, me getting my nose done. They're like you Vietnamese. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm silly. No, nah, I fucked it. I was about to do a, an accent, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> not gonna do it. <laughs> I might get. You were gonna get, what? I was oh. gonna do. I was gonna do an accent, but I might get backlash for that. I'm not doing that. Oh no. <laughs> huh? Okay, you do it. <laughs> no. Yeah, but um, yeah, that about wraps up this podcast. It was uh, I appreciate y'all coming on. This was a big vibe. I do want to bring y'all on a future episode though, if y'all let down for that. Okay, just let me know. And this was y'all first, so I hope I made a, a really good impression as far as your first podcast, your first, you know, thing going on. Next time we see who can take more tokes on our. I'm just kidding. Or we take shots on your podcast. Shots of what? Because I'm very, competition. I'm very picky with tequila. You feel me? Oh, I was going to say tequila. Will you said tequila? I said tequila, but I'm, I'm picky with the type of tequila, you know. Okay. What, what? How about we each, we each have to send each other a bottle, a surprise bottle. <laughs> You're gonna send me something nasty. Yeah, someone's about no, to send. No, it some has food. to be. It has to be good. Someone's about to send some fucked up ass Jose Cuervo and shit. I don't want that. Oh, we give That's each other a moonshine. Do I like moonshine? <laughs> really? You get that, like, if you take a sip of it, you're kind of already like fucked up, and it's like a little sip. Damn, mm. you are a, you are a party girl. Moonshine is fucking wild. <laughs> Damn. No, I drink like Patron Silver. Like that's my that's my go-to. That's good. I, I like that. Yeah. So yeah, what, what I was gonna say, what is your go-to? Patron Silver is like good. You gotta freeze it though. You gotta freeze it, yeah. Because if you, you said the first time, Pucana. Pucana. At least y'all didn't say Casa Fricos. Didn't say that. Oh, Pucana. That's that's the that's that demon time shit right there. All right, cool. So next time we do an episode, it'll be another like group one, and we'll all see who gets fucked up first. I'm down for it. <laughs> Someone's gonna end up pissing themselves on the damn podcast, and it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's we're gonna, gonna have a dance party. <laughs> I can't dance like that. I can only dance bachata. Don't fucking laugh. I, I saw you laughing. Oh, bachata's nice. Ooh. No, because that's the only like Latin dance I could dance, but I can't do no cumbia or, like none of that. I know the beat. <laughs> I just I don't know the dance. Banda. You a banda girl? Everything I can line dance, I can hip hop. I'm, I'm afraid to do norteñas because I don't want to step on on the females like toes and shit. I don't want to be that guy. I don't know. I feel like it's easy. You just you kind of drag your feet, so you don't really step on the other person. I don't know. <laughs> Since I don't know, I might be that dude that picks his feet up and stomps the fuck down. <laughs> and yeah, that's gonna be the end of that dance. <laughs> 
So, yeah, I don't want to be that dude. But I, I mean, I'm down to learn. But for now, I'm I'm fucking shit up. Like, nah, I need to learn first. That type of shit. But bachata's my shit. I like that sexy bachata. You know, you got the leg and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that shit. But um, sexy I'm not been sounding right in it forever now. But yeah. Appreciate y'all coming on the podcast episode. Y'all have a good night, and I'll I'll have y'all in a future episode. And she's gonna get fucked up. Um, uh, my name's Janice, and I think Hansel's gonna get the most fucked up. <laughs> have you guys seen that TikTok? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Okay. Not real shit though. You about to get fucked up first. Ariana? No. Who oh, me? Yeah, no. not Ariana, Gonzo. No. You, <laughs> Janice, you, you getting fucked up first. No, I vote you. Why? Is it because I'm fourth gen? Is that why? That's crazy. Maybe. Yeah, I can't even pull like the race card because y'all the same fucking race as me. That's crazy. All right, guys. Good night. Y'all have a blessed night. <laughs>